Hey guys! Today I'm going to show you how I use the NoCD app to do ERP, and I'm going to take you along while I do an actual exposure. So in the app you fill out your obsessions and your compulsions, or the rituals that you perform to neutralize your anxiety. Today the obsession that I will be targeting is the worry that I will get sick from my hands being contaminated. Under hierarchies is where you're going to curate specific exposures to do to challenge each obsession. Um, today the exposure that I will be doing is eating a snack after touching a contaminated surface. So now we're in my kitchen and this is a shared living space because I live with a roommate um, and she works in a hospital setting so this is the perfect place to contaminate my hands. So I'm just going to get started by touching surfaces in our kitchen that my OCD thinks are contaminated like our cupboard, our oven handle, and pawing at a utensil drawer like a blind cat is not necessary for the exposure, but alas. Um, really just making sure that my hands are germy enough to produce anxiety and those obsessive thoughts. For the snack portion of my exposure, I will be eating rolled gold pretzel thins. And here I go on a lengthy rant expressing my frustration with my grocery store for discontinuing selling these. I have to go all the way to Walmart now. And this is not sponsored, this is just pure passion for great snacks. When you're ready to start the exposure, the app will ask you to predict how much anxiety you think you will experience on a scale of 1 to 10. I predicted a 6. And then it will begin timing you. And here I am reminding myself that I am contaminated, trying to really trigger those obsessive thoughts and avoid reassuring myself. Now I'm gesturing to my OCD to come at me, bro, because I am ready for it. Okay, so I've rated my anxiety a 4 here out of 10, and I thought it was going to be a 6, so this just will not do for me. I am trying to really activate some anxiety for myself, so I invite my filthy dog in to get some extra contamination on board. My dog licks floors and shoes and people's hands, so she's perfect for this. So now I'm going to take my dog slobbered mitt and eat a pretzel. Now I'm definitely contaminated and we can continue. So I'm immediately at a 5, which is still lower than I wanted to be. Oh, but, but wait. Oh, she's at a 6. Okay, now this exposure party can really get started. So the app is here to support you through your exposure and every three minutes it's going to check in with you to see where your anxiety level is. Once you have reached a 3, you have officially habituated enough to end your exposure. So now I'm just riding the waves of anxiety and obsessive thoughts, making sure to resist my mental rituals, checking in here at a 5, and just continuing feeling anxious and contaminated. Now I left this in because I wanted you guys to see, sometimes when you're doing exposures, it's not necessarily going to be a straight decline with your anxiety. You may spark bad up right here I'm experiencing an intrusive thought that puts me back at a six which is okay so now I'm checking back in with the app because um, three more minutes have passed just letting it know that I'm still at a six so it can record my progress and for the remainder of the exposure I just allow myself to feel the contamination and experience my obsessive thoughts without fighting them or ritualizing to neutralize any anxiety um, and eventually my body just does its thing and habituates till I'm down to a level 3 and can officially end my exposure. So I let the app know I'm at a 3 and it tells me nice work. Oh, and you do get to celebrate because you just challenged the bully in your brain. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!